As the final weeks of December quietly slip away, anticipation around the long-rumored DJI 360, also widely discussed online as a next-generation DJI 360-degree drone, has only grown louder, especially among aerial photography fans, FPV enthusiasts, and content creators who expected DJI to close the year with a headline-grabbing launch, yet instead were met with an unusual and almost suspicious silence, with no teaser videos, no official images, no certification documents leaking online, and no familiar social media breadcrumbs, which stands in stark contrast to DJI's historically predictable release strategy that typically involves early regulatory filings, retail box leaks, controlled marketing images, and a short teaser clip released roughly a week before launch, usually timed for a mid-month announcement on a Tuesday or Thursday, making dates like December 16th or December 18th appear perfect on paper for a DJI Evada 360 reveal, but those dates passed with nothing but speculation, reinforcing the idea that a December launch was quietly abandoned, and when DJI also failed to post teasers on December 9th 11, or any later dates, it became increasingly clear to industry watchers that the 360 drone timeline had shifted dramatically, with insider sources from Shenzhen now suggesting the DJI RR 360 launch window has been pushed all the way to January 2026, a delay believed to be strategic rather than the result of hardware issues, as DJI reportedly chose to slow its rollout after early hype intensified and competition in the 360-degree drone space escalated, particularly following the aggressive marketing campaign from Anti-Gravity and its A1 drone, which claimed the title of the world's first true 360 degrees aerial camera drone back on August 14, sparking a hype cycle that forced DJI to react by allowing limited leaks of its own nearly finalized 360 drone to surface, prompting anti-gravity to rush its plans and move sales forward, resulting in the A1's official December 4 release that many viewed as a preemptive strike designed to beat DJI to market. And now that A1 units are reaching consumers and real-world performance reviews are emerging, pressure is mounting even further as the 360 drone battle heats up, placing DJI in a position where timing, pricing, image quality, stabilization, battery life, and software features like AI tracking, horizon leveling, and post-production flexibility will matter more than ever, while looking ahead, if DJI follows its established launch rhythm in January, Potential announcement dates like January 16th or January 18th remain plausible, which would require teaser content around January 9th or January 11th. Though until something official appears, all timelines remain speculative, and while the drone side of DJI's lineup faces uncertainty and intense competition, the handheld camera division tells a very different story, as FCC approval for the DJI Osmo Pocket 4 has already been granted, removing one of the biggest regulatory barriers and confirming that the Pocket 4 is moving forward regardless of recent FCC decisions affecting DJI's broader portfolio, with current information pointing toward two versions in development, including the standard DJI Osmo Pocket 4 and a higher-end Osmo Pocket 4 Pro, the latter rumored to feature a second camera module that could dramatically expand creative shooting options, multi-angle recording, improved low-light performance, and advanced stabilization for vloggers, travel filmmakers, and mobile content creators, while trusted industry sources indicate DJI is still targeting a January release for the standard Pocket 4, keeping that timeline firmly intact, even as other reports clarify that the Pocket 4 Pro is not cancelled, contrary to earlier rumors, but has instead been delayed beyond April suggesting a late spring or early summer launch window, meaning for now the standard Pocket 4 is essentially locked in while the Pro model remains a waiting game, all unfolding against the backdrop of widespread confusion surrounding DJI's placement on the FCC covered list, a decision that has sparked fear, misinformation, and exaggerated claims across forums and social media, particularly in the United States, despite the reality being far less dramatic than many headlines suggest as the FCC ruling specifically targets the authorization of new future models from certain foreign manufacturers and does not retroactively affect existing or already approved DJI drones, 
meaning no current DJI drone will be grounded, disabled, restricted via firmware, or suddenly rendered illegal, and all existing models remain fully legal to own, fly, register, and operate, with FAA registration continuing as normal and no changes to airspace access, remote ID compliance, or everyday flight operations. While FCC approved DJI drones remain available for legal purchase through local retailers, major online platforms, and secondary marketplaces, including popular models like the Mini 5 Pro, Mini 4 Pro, Mini 3 Pro, Mavic Series, Air Series, and Avata lineup, none of which are subject to immediate sales bans, inventory recalls, or usage restrictions, and although some consumers have mistakenly linked the FCC ruling to ongoing customs and import delays, these issues are separate logistical challenges that predate the covered list decision and do not directly impact the legality of current DJI products. Yet unfortunately the spread of fear-driven narratives has caused some owners to panic sell their drones, often at significant financial loss, despite the fact that used DJI drones could actually increase in value if buyers believe new models may become harder to obtain, creating opportunities for informed sellers rather than reasons for alarm, and for anyone who recently invested in a DJI drone, whether for aerial photography, cinematic video, real estate work, FPV flying, or recreational use, there is no practical reason to sell, as models like the Mavic 4 Pro, Air 3S, and other existing drones remain unaffected, fully functional, and safe to fly well into the future, making it clear that while DJI faces a complex mix of competition, regulation, and strategic timing decisions, its ecosystem of drones, cameras, stabilization tech, and creator-focused tools continues to move forward rather than grind to a halt.